This Five on Your Side Sports Report is sponsored by Telly Tire and Auto Centers, driving your way since 1942. We've been saying it for what seems like weeks now. The Blues are clinging to their playoff lives. Well, we are about out of games on the schedule and coming into tonight, the Blues were still not eliminated. With three games left, they cannot afford to lose any of them. There's a the situation. Blues lose tonight. Vegas wins. It's over. It was a tough assignment for the Blues against Rod the Bod and the Carolina Hurricanes. Zach Dean thought he had his first career goal, but oh man, Frederick Anderson. Insane save to keep things scoreless. Blues breakthrough. Guess who? Zach Bolduc. Third game in a row. one nothing Blues. Canes tied it. Jordan Cairo untied it. His 30th goal of the season. 2-1 Blues. We're tied at two in the third now. Jacob Slavin is going to break the tie. Canes got some empty netters. They win 5-2. Vegas is winning 3-1 right now in Minnesota. So tonight very well could be the end of the Blues playoff chances. You know, Sky's in here. No matter what the odds are or kind of where we're at in the season, we never gave up and um, we won't give up. So um, that's what I'm taking away from this. It's been an emotional month, month and a half here. It's, uh, it's been fun hockey, uh, a lot of competing. I think we grew a lot as a team. Obviously a, a tough re result here tonight. Maybe the desert air was all the Cardinals needed to get that offense going. Cards in Arizona facing the NL champ D-backs. And sound the alarm, the drought is over. Nolan Arenado finally gets his first home run of the season. Absolute bomb. 425 feet, cards up 3 nothing there. I think Nolan liked that one. Welcome back, Lars Newbar. His second half bat of the season goes even further than Arenado's homer. 438 foot, two run blast. That made it 6 nothing. But oh my, the D backs have blasted their way back off Steven Matz and Giovanni Gallegos. It is 6 to 6 right now in the sixth inning. It is quite possibly my favorite couch weekend of the year. There is nothing better than plopping down on the sofa and watching the Masters for hours on end. Okay, maybe winning the Masters ticket lottery and actually going to Augusta would be just a bit better. It was rough out there today, though. Look at this wind. The sand is blowing everywhere. The flags are almost coming off their flagpole. Some crazy wind in Georgia. A few folks managed to have a good day in the conditions, though. Max Homa, Bryson DeChambeau, and Scotty Scheffler are tied for the lead at six under. Nice day for Tiger Woods as well. He shot even and is plus one for the tournament. He's in the hunt going into the weekend. It's the 24th straight time he's made the cut at Augusta, and playing alongside Tiger is always interesting. I don't actually find it too difficult. He's really easy to play with and the crowd doesn't know you're there, which is pretty awesome. The way the, the ball is moving on the greens, uh, chip shots are being blown. Uh, it's, it's, it's all you want in a golf course today. It won't be long until we're talking about a new college football season. We will be talking about this guy a lot. Mizzou quarterback Brady Cook was in town today for an NIL opportunity at Suntrip Ford. And the St. Louis native was not shy about his team's goals heading into the summer. It's a 12-team playoff this year, and the Tigers want to be part of it. I think this is, this is truly the first year um, in my career at Mizzou where everyone in the building believes we're going to make a playoff. Um, and, you know, that's special because every day you walk in there and there's a different sense of belief, you know, a different sense of hope. Um, and, yeah, I mean, the expectation is, you know, we're going to make a playoff appearance this year. Good news for SLU Hoops today. Gibson Jimerson is out of the transfer portal and on new coach Josh Schertz's roster. It'll be Jimerson's sixth season at SLU where he's racked up 312 three-pointers as a Billiken. It is officially miracle time for the Blues. They need any help they can get. It yes. doesn't look good. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, thanks, Corey. Empty weekend calendar. We can fill that for you.